So in this example, we're looking at the average temperatures in degrees Celsius versus the gas consumed in cubic feet for a house that has just been installed insulation. Um, these were collected on random winter days. So we have temperatures in the first column and their corresponding gas consumed in the second column. Um, this looks to be a regression analysis. The reason I think it would be a regression analysis or a correlation analysis is because it's got two different types of variables. We have temperature and we have gas consumed. Um, usually when you have two different types of variables, um, then you're usually doing a regression and correlation because you want to find a relationship between them. And so we're looking at either doing one of those two. So that means the case we have to decide which variables are predictor variable and which variable is our explanatory variable. So the explanatory variable is the one that explains what's happening in the predictor variable. It seems to make more sense for the average temperature to tell you what the gas consumed would be. So that makes the average temperature x the explanatory variable, and therefore gas consumed we'll call y the predictor variable. Um, and then what we're asked to do is asked to find the regression equation between the average temperature versus the gas consumed for a house that has just installed insulation. So this example shows how to do this on the TI-83 or 84. You can do this on any one you want to do. Um, it does not matter what um, software you use. You can use R, you can use... Um, Excel has some interesting issues with it, so I wouldn't use Excel, but there's lots of other software out there. So we have, if we do it on the TI-83, you're going to put the x's in L1, you're going to put the y's in L2, um, and then you go into the stat and move over to tests and go down to L-I-N-R-E-G t-test. That represents linear regression t-test. Granted, we're not doing a test, but that's just the easiest way to think of it. Go down, pick L1 for X list, L2 for Y list, the rest of the stuff you can all ignore, and then just go down to calculate, and the calculator will spit out these results. Um, you can see we're looking for the regression equation. The regression equation is Y is equal to something with an A and a B and an X. Um, the calculator actually tells you that they're using the form Y equals A plus BX. There's also an AX plus B form. It doesn't matter. They're the same. Um, the main thing you want to do is actually write in what A and B are. Here's your A, and here's your B. The rest of it, this is just showing you the different things you can get out of this linear regression t-test. So, A is 4.6, let's say. Actually, let's go with a little bit more. Let's say it's 4.571. B is negative 0.223. So we'd have a negative 0.223x. And this is actually the equation. This relates your x um, explanatory variable to your y hat, your predictor variable. Y hat represents that this is from a sample data, and a different sample will create a different equation. All right, so let's see what we can do with this equation. So let's say we want to use the regression equation to find the gas consumed when the temperature is 3.5 degrees. So remember, x is the temperature, so we just told you that x is 3.5, and we want to know what the y is. So our regression equation, or sometimes called the least squares line, or sometimes called the best fitting line, is 4.571 minus 0 0.223 times x, but x we've just decided in this example is 3.5. So you find out that that's 3.8 cubic feet of gas consumed. Um, just for a moment, let's go back and look at the data. Um, I do notice that we don't actually have a 3.5x, uh, but it's somewhere between 3.1 and 3.9. And we just got the cubic feet of 3.8, which happens to actually be somewhere between 3.2 and 3.9. So it looks like we actually did receive a fairly good um, prediction. So let's do another one. Use the regression equation to find the gas consumed when the temperature is negative 5 degrees Celsius. So in this case, again, they are giving you the x variable. It is negative 5. Put it back into your regression equation of 4.571 minus 0 0.223 times negative 5. And when you do that calculation, 
you will get 5.7 cubic feet. Again, just real quickly, let's go back and look at the data. Um, there is no negative 5, so negative 5 is actually over here. Um, we did get a value of 3.7. I'm sorry, we got a value of 5.7, which is over here. That's not exactly um, right in there, um, whereas the other one was pretty close. The other value of 3.8 was pretty much right in our range of where we thought the y value should be. Our 5.7 looks like it's a little beyond, a little outside that because the lowest here is 4.8. Um, that's because um, this 3.5 is interpolation. Um, that means that we actually found a y value from an x value that was inside the range of the original data, whereas this part c, this negative 5, is extrapolation because the x value was actually outside the original data. Um, extrapolation is usually not as accurate as interpolation. Um, let's try one more. This time we want to find the gas consumed when the temperature is 25 degrees. So um, this is degrees Celsius, I should mention. So y hat would be 4.571 minus 0 0.223 times 25 and that comes out to be roughly negative 1.0 cubic feet. Now we can have a negative temperature like we did here because it's degrees Celsius and it's a negative value and you can have negative temperatures but you can't have a negative gas consumed that would mean that you're actually putting gas back into the system um, and I don't think you'll be doing that. Um, the reason is is that this 25 is way outside this is a giant actually extrapolation and when the problem with extrapolation is that the equation may not work anymore and this is a good example showing where the equation definitely doesn't work anymore um, in case you didn't know 25 degrees Celsius is roughly 75 degrees Fahrenheit not perfectly but somewhere in that range it's, it's in the 70s somewhere so you wouldn't be using gas to heat your house if it's 75 degrees outside Alright, and that's your example of finding a core uh, regression.